Hey everyone, Mirai here, and I've got a special announcement for you all. Ice Boxer 42 has been in development for the past several months, and it's about to be released. It brings a handful of changes that I'll quickly cover in a moment. But first, I did have a chance to sit down and talk with the developer himself. Check it out. So I'm sitting across from Lax, the master of disaster, also known as Joe the Multiboxer in some parts of the internet. It is an honor to have you here. Thank you. And we're here to talk about IS Boxer 42, which is about to be released. Now, before jumping right into that, I've been using IS Boxer for a while now. How old, how, how long has IS Boxer been around? IS Boxer is about eight years old now. Okay, so I've been using IS Boxer for, I don't know, seven and a half years, which is like the, the time that I've been in the multiboxing scene, if you will. I started with Ice boxing when it was like in its late 20s or early 30s, speaking version number here, late 20s, early 30s. So in that first six to 12 months that I wasn't using Ice Boxer, you went through 20 something, almost 30 versions of Ice Boxer. What um, seems to be a lot there. Were there a lot of major changes or just uh, what? Uh... Well, in the early days, um, I really didn't know how, how many versions it was going to have or how big it was going to be. Um, and so each time I released something new for everybody to try out, I just said, okay, everybody, here's build number one or here's build number two and so on. And eventually it just got really big and there were so many minor changes that people needed eventually. And so um, instead of keeping counting that, that way, I kept adding, I added on. Um, right. The These days we, we have the month and the day. And then if you, even if you release multiples in a single day, there's an additional part, part there. That right. So, so, so even though I, we're still on IS Boxer 41 until 42 comes out, there's still been dozens and dozens of releases right, of right, 41. Right. But we are on IS Boxer 42 now. What is new? So the main uh, thing we wanted to do for people in IS Boxer 42 is make it uh, easier to get started. Okay. And so to start with the final page of the quick setup wizard, um, we've revamped that. So now instead of you've had the uh, tabs, tab control there, we're with a hotkeys page and a game key bindings page. Right. And yeah. if you didn't know to click between them and what the dif what the differences were, why there's two, uh, it, it can be a little, a little confusing. It can be. And so uh, I got rid of that. They're all packed on the same page. Now you can just scroll down to see any of the options you might actually need. Okay. Um, and so there's some new options. There's a follow and assist mode setting where uh, that'll let you pick the way that you're following the other characters. And so that'll, that'll make, make it easier uh, depending on the game you're playing um, and what options are available within that game. Mm -hmm. Um, so instead of having to make a system in the game to follow each individual character, now you might just choose to follow the party leader or a main character. Okay, it's simpl simplifying things a little bit, making sure that people can just like get started instead of having to set up a follow and assist for every single character. Now they can just set it up for one if they want and just start and get the feel for multiboxing because not everybody wants that full configured assist uh, and, and follow for every single character. Sometimes they just want the leader and they just want to get in there and they want to get going. Right. They want to get going now and if it takes more than a few minutes then what's the point? Right. right. Okay. And um, so another thing that we're doing is we're getting rid of uh, in IS Boxer 41 depending on the game you're playing and the options you choose in the wizard you might end up with different versions of the same key yes. maps. The yes. always on for example you might have a wow always on and an EQ1 always on and you, you might have a hard time understanding which one is attached to your character set and why. Yes. Um, and so with the new system, we're just using the same key maps. Um, they're all new. I've replaced the old key maps. Um, and now there's, uh, there's a new system for the follow modes. There's a new party key map, which okay. has basically the different versions of all the follow modes and assist modes. And we use a setting called, uh, the setting is called virtual map keys in your character set okay. um, to let it know which follow mode you're using. So instead of changing the key map itself, um, there's a separate setting in your character set. Okay, so this is now, this is now it's, it's virtualization at the character set level. Yes. And that's, I think that might actually help because if people are, are dealing with virtualization at the basic learning starter stages, then if they move to the pro system or the pro setup later on, they have somewhat of an idea of what virtualization is and maybe how it connects 
uh, map right. keys, key maps, and, and everything together. Um, so yeah, that's great. That's uh, right. And since this is built right into the Quick Setup Wizard, it should be a very simple example for anybody to to look at and yeah, understand definitely, definitely. where it's going. And so another thing that um, we added is uh, video effects layouts. Um, previously, anybody oh. that wanted to set up video effects, they might have had a hard time setting up their window layout. I haven't. I happen to have a video on that. I do happen to have a video on that. Yes, yeah, so <clears> or <throat> they might have to follow a uh, Mariah's 15-minute video on how to set up <laughs> video effects layouts with setting up DX nothing and adding video effects um, views and possibly making mapped keys to switch them around. Yes. Yes. And so now there's just an easy. Uh, setting right in the window layout wizard or quick setup wizard. Okay. Um, use video effects layout right there in the Fancy. where you pick your window layout. Um, it will just automatically set up the window uh, layout, the video effects uh, views and everything for you. Okay. So, yeah. I've, I mean, I've, I've had a little bit of uh, time with Icebox 42, but I haven't played with that setting yet. So hopefully, uh, hopefully before it goes live, maybe I can get a... Uh, <clears throat> you should. It'll save well, you some time. Well, I, I guess I have to because I will have to be making videos on all this stuff. So... Um, but there's kind of been a big gap between 41 and 42. Perhaps you have another project you've been working on in that time. IS Boxer 2 is okay. currently in alpha. I've been working on it for kind of a while now. It's, okay. it's a complete rewrite of IS Boxer. Um, so it's, it's all new. The interface is completely different. Um, it's using a new system, so it, it looks uh, it's got a nice style to it where IS Boxer right. 1 is very technical um, yes. and it's, it can be, uh, it's kind of hard to follow the, not the, as, the not flow as user sometimes. Friendly. Right. Yeah. And so IS Boxer 2 has just got a, a new style, um, a new way of using things, a new way of launching. Now it's got a, it's, it's going to act as kind of a launcher. Oh. Um, and so yeah, you, the, main, the main uh, IS Boxer 2 window, when you start it up, you've got, you choose your team and it's got a launch button. Yeah, and so it's it's kind of a different way of looking at. So instead of having to go to Interspace and right-click on the, the context menu and go to character sets and pick your character set, you just be able to pick it right out of the Ice Boxer Two launcher. Then right, yeah. and it's just going to remember which one you used last time. So if yeah. you you always play the same character uh, team, you just click launch after you launch Ice Boxer and this, Two. And this this kind of eliminates having to constantly re-export. Um, you just there's just one right. button for it all now. There's just one right. button for it all. And, and it helps. Um, there, that fixes a lot of, a, a lot of problems that IS Boxer uh, 1 has, um, where, where it exports, and it's exporting every single character set. Yes. Um, and so it doesn't know which one you plan on playing. So mm -hmm. it can't um, adjust some of the game settings to match your window layout if you've got that same window layout between multiple character sets. Okay. or um, Sometimes that's, that's hard to pick out. And so IS Boxer 2, the new way, um, you pick the team you launch, it exports, uh, it does it automatically for you when you click launch. Okay. And so okay. It, it knows. I have, I have had a little bit of time with uh, IS Boxer 2 as well. And uh, it is, it is, it's, it's much sleeker. There's not as much moving between a bunch of different panes. There's, there's tabs now. Uh, it's a lot easier to navigate and everything. So, you know, not to spoil IS Boxer 42 or anything, we're still going to be using that for a little bit, I, I imagine, before IS Boxer 2 is out. But um, yeah, so IS Boxer 42 is coming out very soon. Yes. Hopefully, right around the time people see this video. And that means I need to start making some videos myself. So, you got work to do. I've got work to do. So, thank you for coming by. And uh, I'm sure everyone's going to see us both online. All right. All thank right. you. So there you have it. IS Boxer 42 is releasing soon and brings a handful of changes. But that's not all. In addition to those changes that Lax mentioned, there are some minor changes that I'd like to point out as well, such as the out of focus tree view, which now has a nice subtle outline around it to help keep track of where you're at. But not only that, mapped keys are now colored red if they're currently turned off. And they can quickly be toggled on and off by simply holding shift and then clicking on them. And finally, as you can see, hotkey labels have been moved to the right-hand side of the lower left pane and are right justified for easy viewing. Now, those are just a few minor changes that I personally like, but there are a few more that we didn't talk about in this video. So feel free to head over to the IS Boxer Wiki page linked below to see the full list. Also, you can expect new video tutorials from me in the near future, but before then, please refer to the written documentation on the ISBoxer Wiki, which will be updated for the release of version 42. 
So again, my name is Mirai. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.